is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you with your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. Now. Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. August 31st, man. Check it out. Don't make assumptions. Communicate with clarity. This is a great card, but we know that, <laughs> well, when I read it, if, if this happened, folks, uh, it'd be pretty cool. But the communication uh, level uh, in the world right now is pretty intense, meaning pretty bad. Communicate with others as clearly as you can be to avoid misunderstanding, sadness, and drama. If all humans would communicate with impeccability of the word, all our relationships would change. There'd be no wars, no violence, and no misunderstanding. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 15, NASDAQ uh, flat, SP's off six and a half, gold contract up five dollars 70 cents, trading out at 1818 an ounce. You get silver down two cents, $23.93 an ounce, light sweet crude off 70 cents, $68.51 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year down three ticks, 133.13, the 30 year off 17 at 162.30, and King Dollar. King dollar is uh, up to eight ticks right now, 92,661. Euro at 118, yen at 10,999, and the British pound at 137 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Okay, so what we have here is that you get a, you get a couple small ABC structures on the way up. The bottom line is that we'll see whether these things come into fruition. Um, you know, <laughs> the, <laughs> the bottom line is that we, we did take out the B point. You took it out with volume. Uh, inside of the SPY, 449, you get, what, 30? We get 13, which gets you 46, 56, like 460. You know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. But you're at 451. Inside the uh, NDX 100, the three Qs. Same type of setup, meaning you get an ND, you get an ABC structure on the way up. This is a much larger one. B point is 375, A point is, is 359. So you get approximately uh, 15 points, which gets you up to the uh, 71, 81, 86, 386. You know, now that being said, we had a question out here yesterday too about we've had multiple ABC structures all the way up, okay? And, you know, bottom line, when does this end? You know, <laughs> it it ends, okay, when you basically don't reach the ABC structure number one. But as I explained yesterday, what, I, what I've seen in the marketplace for years is this. The market gives you three times to get out. And to me, the three times are already up, okay? We've gone down three times. Uh, when we're talking about July 8th, we went downtown with volume. July 19th, we went downtown with volume. And August 19th, we just went downtown with volume. That being said, you made a high up on the, the first high, uh, July 13th, the next high, uh, August 5th, and the next high, of course, yesterday and today. Um, you know, the, the, the bottom line um, is that I think we're close, man. <laughs> that, that's the real bottom line. Uh, you know, we'll see where this shakes out. Uh, that's, 
you know, what we, what we have here, no doubt, is that you have window dressing. We have the end of the month, beginning of the month, and you get Labor Day at, simultaneously. That being said, this market is stretched in an incredible way. And what did happen today is this, okay? And yes, Jimmy, you, you should give yourself a gold star. That's the guy that asked the question because he had me thinking about it all night long, which is a beautiful thing, and I want to thank you. Um, and, and so this is what happened this morning. If you were in front of a machine this morning, okay, this is how nervous the market is, okay? Let me, I'm gonna put, let me put up the, I'll put up the S&Ps first. It wouldn't matter if it's the S&Ps or the NASDAQ composite, okay? What, what had happened is this. You had this fast downdraft, okay, at about 7 o'clock this morning. Um, you know, the futures were up pretty good. Not, not, not huge, but they were up pretty good. And then all of a sudden, man, the futures, the S&Ps went from 45.28 down to, uh, now the first leg here was before the market. There it is. 45.28 to 45.19. Okay, 45.16. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, okay, but... Let me tell you what that was on. What that was on is this. So, and the NASDAQ also went. That was on the aspect of a uh, politician in Europe, okay, saying that he thought that Europe should slow down with the pandemic aid. You know, I was looking at this and I'm saying to myself, you know what? Now, you can just use common sense, okay? You know, there's, there's no doubt that, you know, tapering is going to come, higher interest are going to come at some particular point. But the aspect that you're going to pull money back in the pandemic is like not common sense. But the, my point is this, that's how nervous the market is because it went down that quick and that was over in Europe. But that's what started this market off down. Um, if, you know, I'm sure a lot of these weren't in front of a machine, but I know a lot of tigers and tigresses are, are in front of machines at six and seven o'clock in the morning. That was the first leg down. Then what ended up happening is that the market made it all the way back up. But when you do that, you basically, the market gave us that information that someone turns around, says one thing in Europe, and bang, it goes that quick. So it's a heads up in general. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We go take a look at that good old dollar now. This is what happened with the dollar, folks. The dollar has broken its uptrend. Even though we're up 17 ticks right now, what you're going to see is this. And this is a break with conviction. A break with conviction is that when you get a longer bar that's happening. Because I don't have volume on, no, well, no one has volume on the currencies. Okay, so what we have here, as you can see, you know, we had come down last Monday. We come down Friday. We went sideways yesterday. Bottom line. You broke today, and you broke with conviction. You get down lower. So we'll see now if we can make it back inside the trend line. But right now, you get a decisive break. That's saying the dollar wants to go to the bottom of this consolidation, which is 89.524. It's Tom O'Brien. This is TFN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Dow Industrials right now are trading down 61. NASDAQ is off 4. S&Ps are off 7.5. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 62. We get the NASDAQ off 6, S&Ps off 7. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show every trading day right here, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. Come on over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see it right on the right-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You can get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has approximately 11 archives on there. So if you really want to understand the market, you want to understand riding the Chapman wave, you not only get a great newsletter, you're going to get it for a month. You get a money-back guarantee if it doesn't work for you, and you're going to get a great education. So the bottom line is that just get those glasses on, sit on your desk, start studying. Start riding that wave. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing good. See, I said you got the glasses on because I, you know, I've, I've needed glasses for a while now. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, well, I... I... I've got my eyes are going back to when I was a teenager. So, yes, I do need them for reading closely. But other than that, that's seems a beautiful to be thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, it's, but it's a cycle. And we have to deal with it, whatever it is. That, that, that's a good cycle that you're on, man. I like it. <laughs> I think so. So, this is very interesting because we about to, within less than an hour, we're going to wrap up August and the candle of August. Oh, yeah. And I thought what I'd do here is I'll just uh, re briefly talk about the uh, monthly charts. I'll just I'll show you there's a pattern here in the Dow. The Dow went to 35,635. Okay. 35,631 on the 16th of August. Then dropped sharply 1,000 points to 34,619. And for the last one, there's about seven sessions. It's just been stuck in a very narrow trading band. And that tells me that the mix of the Dow, because I call it the Dow 30, it's no more the industrials, it's the Dow 30, the mix within it is telling me, just like my cash index, C-A-S-H, -S C stands for Syntas, look at the Syntas, for over a month hasn't been able to break out above the 396 high that it made back in July. I, this is really incredible. It just bumped up against it. I call this the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. So this is really important because that is uh, overalls, uniform rentals. Look in the weekly chart, peak D, it hasn't broken out above. But it's only a leg B in the 
in the monthly chart, and I believe that today we'll give it a, a monthly 396.38, 396.26. Wow, 12 cent, 13 cents. And if it doesn't make that 13 cents higher to, today within the next 40 minutes, it's made a peak B in the monthly chart. A is for Amazon. And Amazon had a spectacular move, and the monthly chart had a single leg to the upside, and now it's gone back into the trading band. It's gone from the, uh, let me just get the 37.73 level back in July, mid-July, drops down to just under 3,200, having quite a nice day here. But actually, when you look at it, it's, it's lagging. So that's, uh, the SPY is in, in the alphabet of the cash, my cash index. SPY made an all-time high yesterday. It's just stalling it for, for a moment here. Um, I'm going to be watching this closely because the monthly chart is in leg B. And that means if there is a new high all of September, you've got all of September to make a new high. If it isn't today, if it's tomorrow or any day after tomorrow, above 450.65, it extends the monthly leg B. And the Chapman methodology, I'll just show this for those uh, new viewers uh, to to this program right here. So peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D, we're always expecting in a buy mode to go to at least four higher peaks. And it's at that fourth peak, peak D, that other things can happen. That's where we were somewhat cautious. And we'll see, so the expectation here is that if in the month of September, even by one penny, the spy goes above August high, it is extended the month. And if you just count the waves, you can't get a peak B until a month later. That'll be October. And then it goes to leg a C. You can't get a peak until it's a, a month of a lower high. That takes you to December. So basically, it says that going to 2022, there should be higher highs to come based on my methodology. And 2022. Then H oh, my God. <laughs> can you believe it? Yeah, but <laughs> Seriously, man. <laughs> and Home Depot makes an all-time high uh, just about mid-August. goes to uh, the 338, was it? Uh, 338.55. And it's consolidating here. So even in my cash index, which I've used for a while, just it's a kind of a broad index in the sense, look, Syntax is overalls. Amazon is just about everything, right? Uh, SPY is really important of S&P 500. And H Home Depot is really the whole home building, the um, aspect of uh, growth that where people who are staying at home are still doing things. So it says that there's a mixed picture. And that's the picture that I just want to illustrate for a moment here. So I'm going to go back. Uh, to, I'm going to go to the S&P cash just for a moment to say there's that leg B in the uh, monthly chart. So if there's, it's, it goes one penny above yesterday's all-time high of 45, 37, 36, just one penny above, says you've increased leg B into September. And if you look at the QQQ, it's just, it's becoming, it's very interesting. There are fewer and fewer stocks. You can see as Amazon, which was really important, was consolidating for weeks, all of a sudden it's having some nice, uh, a, a nice ready to the upside. And basically what we're looking at is um, it's getting it, fewer and fewer stocks are taking each indice up to new highs. And that's really what I, I want to illustrate just by the notation that I've got and also the other aspect to it right here in the Dow, going back to the Dow. Look at this arch formation. So I like to talk about fighting uh, patterns. In, in the one case, you've got here it is. You've got the V-shaped pattern where you come straight down and you've gone straight up and then you stalled. So this is uh, straight up and straight down. And then you get the arch formation. Uh, it's either this big arch or it's a small arch, that dreaded H, where if you take out the left side low, that's all the way down at 34,690. So we have to go one step at a time. I'm just going to make it as simple as possible. There is enough strength to maybe pop the Dow a higher um, maybe this week or maybe early next week, but I, I suspect it won't be much higher than the 35,631 all-time high. But most importantly, there is enough strength to do that. But if the Dow starts to close, not just trade, if it closes under 35,150, just to be safe, let's call it 35,100, closes under that, it says, be careful, we've started some kind of a consolidation. And, it, and, and we know that markets very often make bottoms in simultaneously at lows, but on the upside, 
you can rotate for weeks going through one sector. We've seen it was the Qs, then the S&P followed, and the Dow's lagging, and the IWM, the Russell 2000, is lagging. So this is very selective. Um, not to say that you know, there has to be a smash or anything like that, but I think this is a period where we, we get, we, we're getting close to some kind of a consolidation. And if it's rotational, because there was a period early, uh, wait, late like last week where the Russell 2000 suddenly came on strong, but now it's stalling. So we have to think about if it's a rotational correction that's sideways, if not, then they all come tumbling down. But right now, I haven't got a single, unless the Dow closes, under 35,100. And folks, very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come to our website at TFNN. You'll see newsletters open and call right on that right-hand side. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 61, Nasdaq's up 16, S&P's up 7.5. Let's go to Philip in St. Pete. Philip, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tommy, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Hey, man, we have speedboat races this weekend, you know. Did, I didn't know that. I now listen, hey, folks. If you're on St. Pete, right at St. Pete Pier, we got speedboat races. I I can't believe I didn't know it either. And it's like, man, I don't think they did enough advertising. But we're talking about world class uh, speedboat racing, so we're gonna have some fun here. <laughs> yeah, I I never saw anything on it. <laughs> you're gonna have to jump on your bike and get down there. Uh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> so Toyota, right? Yeah. Can you throw those Fibonacci's on there and? Tell me, is this, did this just do a little 50% retracement or what? 
Let's take a look. So you get Toyota Manufacturing, of course, Toyota Motor Company, rather. Lows 129, the highs 185. Uh, this little baby came down hard uh, last week when they come out and said, listen, man, there's a huge chip shortage. They get hit with the chip shortage. That's the real bottom line. Um, so let's see. So if we go from highs to lows or lows to highs with the contraction, yeah, you came right down to 0.618, basically. You know, if you take this last trend up, folks, okay, you take the trend that started at 151, gets up to 185, that's pretty impressive how it just went there, yeah. Um, I mean, if you're looking to buy this, I'd let that retest that, that lower area, though, uh, Philip. That, that 163 looks like it can get retested again. Yeah, well, I was thinking of a short. I was thinking that if maybe it was just going to do a 50% retracement. All right, and then well, die from let's here. see. Let me just see. Okay, not available. The shop is that I just don't have the shop position. Um, you know, that this wouldn't be a bad place for it. That's the, that's the bottom line. You, you've, you've come up, a fill of the gap is 175.53. We hit 175.01 today. You know, yeah, my take is that this thing wants to get retest. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, Toyota is a monster. There's no doubt about it. I mean, they're, they're one of the largest com car companies in the world, if not the largest. That being said, yeah. um, they did come out, you know, fundamentally and say, hey, listen, you know, because of the chip shortage, um, they're talking about uh, not delivering huge amounts of cars. I mean, I forget what the number is. Uh, I'm trying to find it right now. But, it, I mean, it's, it's like, oh. Yeah, this, yeah. into uh, next year. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, it, it's a, it's a big number. That's the bottom line. So, um, yeah. you know, we'll we'll see where the baby shakes out. But uh, at this level here, your back's against the wall, man, because you can put your stop. You know, you don't even have to give this a point two points on the other side of it. Or if you're going to the option market, um, the bottom line is it's not a it's not a bad setup. There's no doubt about that, man. Okay. Cooking, brother. All right, man. Good. You have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You too, Tommy. Thanks. 877-927-6648. We go, let's go take a look at, uh, well, yeah, I wanted to show you something, too. When Basil was talking about these markets, about uh, rotation and stuff, so pitch this, folks. The NASDAQ is down today, and you're not down a lot. You're only down 25 points, the NDX, right? But I want to show you something, because this is where the, the strength inside the NASDAQ today are all the Chinese stocks, Okay. And these things have been dogs, but the bottom line is that they, they get a bounce going. It's, it's a good bounce, okay? You get NetEase up 7.2%. You get Trip.com up 5.5%. And you get Pinduoduo up 32 Now, those are the leaders outside of Walgreens Boots. Walgreens Boots is up 4% 4, 4 also. Now, when you get something like that, you want to pay attention to it because it's like, okay, you have, let's say if we just take NetEase. NetEase three months ago was trading out at uh, 100 and Twenty dollars gets down two weeks ago to seventy-seven. You trade ninety-six. Um, you know these are these are basically dead cat bounces. Uh, I suspect it wants to go up a little bit higher. It won't take much uh, because you are taking out a B point out here today. But it's not an ABC up because what has happened is you came down with way too much volume yesterday on all of these. You know, but I think they're going to go higher. Uh, not a lot higher, but they'll go higher enough that they will help the NDX. There's, there's no doubt about that. But you want to take that into consideration, understanding the strength versus the weakness inside of the marketplace. Uh, we get another question about uh, an Eco Eagle, about the amount of volume on Eco, an Eco Eagle out here today. This is big volume, man. Now, now this gets really intriguing, too, because it's like, okay, you've done 3.6 million. Um, you're coming into the top of a range. And when I, if you're watching Bloomberg, you're watching Bloomberg, if you're watching... TFNN, and you're watching my screen, I just brought up the largest trades, okay? So normally, so some, someone is, <laughs> and, and this is a tough one, folks, because you, you really can't tell whether someone's coming into this or getting out of this. If they're getting out of it, the bottom line is that there is a lot of support because it's still up 53 cents. If they're getting into it, then they're still selling on the other side of it because you can see it hasn't taken out the swing point yet. Um, you can see when we take a look at this, uh, we're at f most of these trades that, you know, 5,000, 7,000. There just happens to be a lot of them. Um, 
And I'm not quite sure where that, that must be. Normally when I do this, right, these are the block trades you bring up. Normally when you do this, when you see something that's this large, meaning you got 3.6 million already, you're going to get bigger numbers than these. Because, I mean, this could be you and me buying four or 5,000 at a time. Um, so to answer your question about the aspect, well, I think, I think gold stocks are going higher anyway because gold's in an ABC structure on the way up. That being said, um, I don't have a clue <laughs> as to what's going with AEM. Um, it's, just, it's just one of those deals that, you know, you, you can make the case that, okay, you're going into the high with volume, but I really can't make that case because you never hit the 58.91. Uh, you can make the case that you're going into the low, but you really can't make that case because it's 56.34. And when you're in the middle like that, guess what? You've got to go to another stock. That's what I do anyway. That's, that's the bottom line. Uh, we take a look at the GDX, okay? That's, that's exactly what we'll do. Go to another stock. Take a look at the GDX and your holding price. This is setting up. This is, I can tell you that most of these gold and silver equities are setting up really sweet for the, coming into the long weekend. That's how it seems. To be. I suspect what we're going to get is this. It looks to me like we're going to get a lower dollar, and coming into the weekend, you're going to get higher gold, and these equities want to move. That's kind of how these babies are set up right now. Uh, we go take a look at... Barrick Gold, G-O-L-D, and you can see that, you know, yesterday you, you basically went higher, gave it up on price. Um, you're holding price today. If all these gold equities hold price today, they don't have a lot of volume today, but if they hold price today, uh, bottom line is that you can expect higher prices uh, coming into the weekend. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities in, in the broad market in particular. Uh, you got Global Star, like, this. okay, so... This is the type of market we're in. Glo global star, no, glo is it global star? Yeah, it's global star. So global star, it basically went topside yesterday with that. He had the rumor that um, Apple is working with global star. And it, hey, listen, it could be very well right. And what had happened is that global star folks on their last filing said that they had received $60 million and they were working on a project for you know, someone they, they couldn't talk about. Uh, so Global Star goes topside to 247. Today it's 196. If you're going to trade this thing, wait for it to finish the gap. You know, it went lower today. This will come all the way back to 145. If it doesn't light a volume, then guess what? Then you can get some action. But if you're playing it, right, if you're trading it, that's one thing. If you're, if you're investing in that and the aspect that you think, um, you know, this thing's going to go a lot higher, we're years away from uh, that whole... Uh, deal. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 38. You got the Nasdaq off 11. S&P's off five and a half. So realistically, what you got? You got a sideways move out here, folks. Let's go inside the Dow and just see where the strength versus the weakness end. Weakness is out here. Uh, strength is that you got uh, Walgreens Boots. That's putting 13 positive points. Boeing 11. America Express nine. Taken away from it, Nike. Uh, we're gonna we'll go look at that. Nike minus 22. Points, United Health 16, Visa 14. So let's go take a look at Nike for a second. So Nike, this is one powerhouse, man. And Nike, probably only a blimp. Yeah, it's not a, I don't know. That's so weird that I, there's, there's one equity that always pops up that I must hit something. I'm hitting something on this board when I do this. Okay, so here we go. So now, this is interesting. Okay, hold it, man. So Nike is coming into a swing now. Oh, yeah, this is, okay, so Nike, okay. So we're coming at the 7.3 million. You've only done five, but the way this is coming into it, I suspect it's gonna jump the creek. If you're in Nike, you, could, you know, uh, bottom line, if you wanna stay in Nike, you probably should sell some calls uh, <laughs> on, on the stock. OK, because what Nike has and, and it will get filled, OK, is a monster gap. And the gap starts at 132 and goes all the way up to 150. These gaps don't stay open, folks. OK, and what happens is this, is that most times it's when they start moving lower that you really got to keep your eye on it because they're like magnets, man. I mean, a gap this big is, is a huge magnet. And Guess what? You can come down and fill that gap, and there'd be nothing wrong with Nike whatsoever. It's just the acceleration once they start. That's, that's how this baby shakes out. Now, let me see this, because this could be cool, too, because we could do... Okay, so let's do this. So it's an ABC up. It was an ABC up. Now, would you want to... Okay, so 147. Okay, this is cool. So it was a... Fifth, 47... It was a 54 A to B. And that would give us 175. Okay, so check this out. Oh man, this this is a classic timing the trade. Not only an ABC structure on the way up, folks. What it is is this. Nike's going to go fill this gap. So check this out. When Nike took out the B point of an ABC structure on the way up, the price projection was 175. Well, we hit 17436. And what does happen after ABC structures finishes, not all the time, sometimes, I mean, the, you know, we know the Qs have been in multiple ABCs, but most of the time, you do something other than finish, uh, do another one. In Nike's case, it finished it, then it came down with volume on the 19th, maybe it came out with earnings at 19th, I, they, I forget what day they came out. Now what you're doing, you're coming into that level with volume, this thing's gonna go after it. Now what that also says, there's no doubt about it, what this is saying right now is that this is also saying that if that's the case, if Nike starts coming down into that level, that's going to put a lot more pressure on the Dow Industrials. That's, that's how that baby's set up. Some of the other higher volume equities out here today, you got AMC, that's still hanging tough, man. It's up three bucks trading 46.32. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to go. Oh, Zoom. 
Zoom video. So let's go to Zoom. Zoom came out with numbers last night. Uh, numbers weren't bad, okay, but the market wanted bigger numbers. That being said, if we take this and you put this on a monthly, what you're going to see is that you're coming into, whoops, there we go. There we go. You're going to, come on, come on, get that chart up. There we go. Okay, so we put this baby on a monthly, and what you're going to see, and this is what you like to see. I mean, if you are a buyer of Zoom, this is kind of what you like to see. You like to see the volume come out before the swing. You know, so we'll see that the volume's a monster out here today. There's no two ways about it, man. Uh, out here today, we've already done 31 million, and let's see, you're coming into... Yeah, well, 273 only has 4 million. Uh, what, what I mean by that is this. When you have volume come out before the swing, it's a lot harder to basically get the same kind of volume coming into the swing. That's what it comes down to. I think this thing's going to go after the 273. When you get this close, you got the 288 today. When you get this close, it's going to want to test it. Uh, that being said, though, when you basically have that much volume come out, like inside the gold and silver equities, I love it when volume comes out before the swing because it's really hard to get that much volume at the swing when you're doing that. Let's go over to HOOD, H-O-O-D, because yesterday we were talking about the aspect of uh, paid for auto flow uh, that the SEC, you know, bottom line come out and said, hey, guess what, we're going to look at it. And, you know, I was talking about the aspect of how many lobbyists would come out. Well, the lobbyists already came out of the woodwork overnight, folks, okay? Uh, <laughs> this thing is not going to, pay for auto flow is not going to stop. There's the amount of billions of dollars, okay, that are in this, okay, um, it's not going to happen. Um, this, this top article is saying uh, that it continued to slide, even though it's up six cents. After the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission, Gary Gensler said the uh, ban on full payment of auto flow is on the table. I don't care what, what table he has. I, I suspect you'll, you'll get the broker-dealer community will break that table in half in about two seconds flat. Uh, because payment for auto flow um, will really start paying attention to how many billions it is. But let me tell you something, man. It is so many billions, it's unbelievable. Okay, And if you think that um, the break, broker dealer community and the banks are going to stand still, no way. No, no way at all. So I suspect uh, payment for auto flow is going to stay out there. Now listen to this. This, is pre this. this came out today, too. What's happening is that a couple of the banks have got together, and they have a new system. Um, and what the, the system is looking for, uh, it, it's an exchange, okay? And what they're looking for right now, folks, what ends up happening is this, is that all equities have to trade at least penny-wide, okay? Uh, they can't go underneath that. What this system wants to do is that it wants permission from the SEC to go half-penny, okay? So instead of penny spread, you can have a half penny spread. The thing that's amazing about it is that they're claiming that we're all going to save more money and all of this. The, bo the bottom line is, is that um, this is, uh, to me, a, a total setup that the largest exchanges will actually make more money. And the reason being is this, is that depending what kind of brokerage uh, you're at, you can see that between where the decimal point is, um, you know, you're watching sometimes that we're getting uh, something on the penny, and then I'll actually when you see the trade, it goes 0 .0001, okay? The bottom line is that the large broker dealers um, that are executing all the trades would love to see that happen because then the competition even gets heavier in the aspect of that auto flow, and you can imagine that you and I, we're not going to worry about a half a penny. Right? So the bottom line is that the bid and offer might be at a penny, but yet if they can go into a half a penny, all of a sudden that is extra juice inside their profit line in two seconds, man. I mean, it's pretty wild. The Dow right now is down 30, Nasdaq's off 10, S&P's off 5. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, oil. So oil's trading at 68.51. And, you know, I mean, they're running into some resistance here, but I like the setup, man. The setup's telling me higher prices coming at us, man. You know, that's, that's you know, been the same place uh, for three or four days. Yesterday, it's pushing with volume, 367,000 contracts. That's saying 73 bucks is game. That's how it looks. And you put that together. If I'm right on the dollar, I mean, the dollar is going down to 89. Inflation's here. You're going to see that oil market go higher. Um, you know, if your $6 moves, the uh, <laughs> bottom line is that, yeah, I think it's going to be higher. If we go, uh, let's go to the OIH for a second and take a look at the OIH. Uh, this came to the bottom of its uh, consolidation, goes higher. Yeah, see, OIH is pulling back with light volume today. This is, you know, we, we had went topside with 874,000. You, you low at 398. That's building costs for the next move up. And uh, we do have to get by the 198, but the way the OIH is trading is that uh, that baby, in fact, let me put it on a monthly right now. This would be cool. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's a nice setup, man. So watch this. you got to put these on monthlies now, folks. This is a nice setup, man. You have a monthly high in the OAH at 248. And we went up there with 30, 28 million shares. And guess what? When we backed down, you backed down with 18 million. The 18 million was going into 17 million. That's a nice setup, man. This is saying you're going back to 248. And right now we're 185. Man, that is one big baby. And that also would be saying to me that, hey, guess what? Oil's going higher. Where, 
My take, folks, <laughs> inflation's here. I mean, uh, and I don't think we have to be in the marketplace to understand uh, how much prices are actually going up. If you hadn't seen it before, listen, I can understand. Um, you know, I was just old enough uh, in the 70s. I was 20, 21, um, you know, to try to understand it. But if anyone that the same age as me, 70, old or whatever, you know, the bottom line is that you know that every time you went to the grocery store, everything was more money. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Please tell your friends about TFNN. Tell them to come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Go get them, folks.